everyone, welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas! I hope you've all had a wonderful day with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. My day has just been quiet, it's just been me and my dad relaxing indoors. Unfortunately, my mum has been working all day at Heathrow Airport, so I didn't even get to spend Christmas with my mum. So I'm a bit upset about that, but... Um, I have a mega haul to share with you guys. Are you ready for it? Make sure you grab your mince pies, grab your cup of tea, grab your desserts, your cake and custard, anything you want, because this haul is gonna be epic. I've got books, I've got SLGs, I've got bandos, and I've got not one, but two handbags to share with you guys. Okay, this is like an epic major haul for me anyway. So, let's not waste any more time and let's dive straight into it. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is... Da -da -da -da, Christian Dior. Um, now, don't get too excited. I know this looks amazing. You're probably thinking, oh my god, it's a handbag. No, it's not. This is actually, um, well, you'll see what it is in a minute, but um, looks can be deceiving. But I do want to say that this Christian Dior packaging is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let me open this. I haven't opened any of these gifts since I bought them. So... Yeah, this, everything is a real, true unboxing. Look how nicely he prepared this item for me. He even done the Dior bows. He wrapped it so nicely for me. He, oh, this essay, he was brilliant. His name was Remy. He was so helpful. This was at Harrods, by the way. I purchased this. It's honestly nothing special, but... So this is the Dior catwalk book, the infamous catwalk book. So I don't know if you guys know, but I've been really focusing on renovating my house this year. And I just, I was in the market for some fashion related books. And I really wanted one by Christian Dior. So these catwalk books are like collections. They have Chanel, they have Louis Vuitton, they have a lot. But the funny thing is, I went to the Dior concession in Harrods and I asked the sales assistant, do you sell the Dior catwalk book? And he said, no, you have to go to the third floor. So I went up to the third floor, I bought this book, came back downstairs to meet my mom because my mom didn't want to come with me because she was so tired, bless her. Um, and then the, the sales assistant came back to me and said, oh, did you get your book? And I said, yeah, I got it. Thank you so much for your help. And then he said, oh, give it to me. I'm going to gift wrap it for you. He was so nice because he didn't have to do that. It's only a book. Like, it's not a handbag. It just shows the level of service that they have at Dior. So, yeah, that is the first item that I wanted to share with you guys. It's the Dior catwalk book that is going to look amazing in my new living room so i don't know if you guys remember but in my louis vuitton vlog i said i had to go to harris because the item that i wanted they didn't have it at new bond street so i had to go to harris to get it and the item is in here so it's, it's more or less the same thing as i just showed you it is another catwalk book but this time it's the louis vuitton catwalk book um, and you have to be careful because they actually have these in French and in English. I went to the Louis Vuitton concession in Harrods and they only had the French version. So I had to go upstairs to the third floor to buy the English version. So make sure you don't get caught out with that. But once again, it's just a simple, chic, elegant coffee table book that will look so lovely on my new media unit in my living room. Um, I am planning on doing a living room tour at some point next year so you guys can see it. I'm just so happy that I've got some nice luxury fashion inspired pieces to just to elevate the decor in my house really. Um, so yeah, I do 
plan on buying the Chanel one and I also want the Tom Ford book as well. Okay, so that's the end of the books, I promise. Now let's get into the exciting stuff. So you may remember that my previous vlog that I uploaded on Sunday, I went to the Saint Laurent store in um, Sloan Street and I just went to pick up a very small item. So it comes in this cute little box. I honestly haven't bought anything from Saint Laurent in such a long time. So I picked up the infamous, beautiful YSL card holder. You guys have all seen this before, it's a permanent um, item in their line and I just think it's gorgeous, I just think it's so classic and so elegant and you know, I'm not into carrying big wallets and purses anymore so I need to condense like my bank card and my driver's license and I just thought this would be the perfect addition to my SLG collection um, I don't really have an SLG collection because I don't I'm not one of these people that will change their purses every week and um, this is more than enough for me so as you can see it's got the infamous chevron prints going down I actually said to the sales assistant in Saint Laurent that um it's the same pattern as my tattoo on my thumb, oh God. So I actually have chevron prints or herringbone prints on my thumb. I got that tattooed recently. Obviously I must love herringbone print. Um, I got the one with the gold hardware because I just thought it was more of a statement piece and I love gold so much. So it has two sections at the front for cards. It has two sections at the back and it also has a middle compartment where you can put receipts or, or coins maybe yeah so this will look so cute in my new handbag that I'm going to show you in a bit right next we have Louis Vuitton again so I picked this up in the new Bond Street store and This was the item that I bought. It is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Confidential Bandeau. This is just a gorgeous piece of artwork to me. I just love the print. I love the pattern. So I've never owned any bandeaus from Louis Vuitton before. And I thought this would just look really lovely on my on the handle of my new handbag. So yeah, it's just the classic monogram print um, with a mixture of brown neutral tones running through it. Um, it even has some of the reverse monogram down here and then the, the classic monogram up here. And it's just a really pretty design. Um, and it's these bandos are very affordable as well. I think this was £110. Um, so yeah, a very affordable piece to add to my collection. And I'm looking forward to styling this on my new bags. So here we go, the bit that you've all been waiting for. What handbag did I buy? It is here. I have it all wrapped up. So um, I just want to say that I'm not very impressed with the the holiday Christmas decoration at the River Ton. Like, what is this? Just a, a red ribbon. I'm, you know, I, as much as I love the brand, I feel like they could have done better for a Christmas collection. I mean, in comparison to Dior. Look how nice Dior made their Christmas gift wrapping this year. I just, yeah, bit. I'm a bit underwhelmed with Louis Vuitton. Right, so here is the dust bag, and da 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 da. Yes, I went for a classic piece. I didn't want to go too um, new with my first Louis Vuitton handbag in five years. Like the handbags that I tried on were gorgeous, and I I would love to add one of them to my collection, especially the Clapton. The Clapton backpack was my favourite, but I just feel like I need to start from the beginning again, and this has been on my wish list for so many years. You know what it is, it's the Pochette Matisse. These are like gold to find, 
Um, so even though I was vlogging at the new Bond Street store, I actually ended up buying this bag in Selfridges. So basically, I knew that I wanted to buy the Pochette Matisse for Christmas and I've been calling Louis Vuitton every day, do you have it in stock, do you have it in stock? No, sold out worldwide, sold out, sold out. One day I called, I called them and they said, we have four in the stock room at Selfridges. You best get your ass to Selfridges in the next hour, otherwise they'll be gone. The way I raced to Selfridges on that day, this is literally gold. You cannot find this bag at whatsoever. You just can't find it. Just like the Palm Springs Mini. Like, I really want the Palm Springs Mini, but cannot find it for the life of me. I don't really want to go secondhand. I don't want to buy a used secondhand bag. There's nothing wrong with that if you if that's your thing, but it's it's not my thing. I don't I don't want to do that. I'm so happy that after so many years I got myself the Pochette Matisse. Yes. I feel like I've just done a huge accomplishment. I know you guys weren't expecting this because this wasn't one of the bags that I was trying on in the store. Um but yeah, I like to surprise people. Oh my god, I'm so happy with the, oh, I'm so happy, I, you don't understand how happy I am that like I finally have the Pochette Mat Matisse. I don't even think I need to show you guys this bag because you, all of you, know what it is and I bet half of you probably own it. I'm, I'm the late one, I'm late to the game. Um, so yeah, I know that this bag has had a lot of issues regarding the glazing. I know Jerusha Couture has spoken about it. I know many YouTubers have spoken about it, but that didn't put me off buying the bag. And this is one of the newer versions, so I'm hoping I won't experience that issue. But um, I think I'm gonna try and place the bandeau on the bag and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have attached this beautiful bandeau to my pochette Matisse. Look how gorgeous that looks. It complements the colour of the canvas so nicely. You know, I actually had to search on Google how to tie a bandeau to a pochette Matisse. That, that is how pathetic I am. I didn't even know. So, thank God for YouTube, right? And I also attached the straps to the bag. And I think we are good to go. I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait to style this bag. I'm gonna style it so many ways. I'm gonna wear it probably every day. Oh, I just love it so much. And, and, it matches my phone case, yes. How cool is that? Monogram on monogram, yes. That is what I'm talking about. So let's move on to my final unboxing. And yes, it is another handbag reveal. Ta-da! This time it's from Prada. So I've just said that it's a handbag and you've just seen the box so can you guys guess what bag I purchased from Prada? I'm not gonna lie, the size of this box is worrying me because why is this box so small? This box is tiny, it looks like a shoe box so I don't understand how my handbag has fit inside this box. I'm worried, the reason why I say I'm worried is because I never bought this handbag. My mum picked this up for me at Heathrow Airport. So, I haven't seen this. I have no idea what it looks like. This is, I'm just as clueless as you guys are. Let's open the box. Here is the dog bag. It is tiny. Oh. Ta-da! I 
brought the Prada Cahir bag finally. Oh my God, this bag is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. This is literally a work of art. Oh my God, my second Prada handbag added to my collection. I'm so, oh my God, I'm beyond happy. Praise the Lord for Heathrow Airport and my 20% discount. I went for the light brown caramel color. There's definitely a theme in this video, okay? I've, I've realized I really love the color brown. Maybe it's because of my skin tone. I don't know. But I really like the color brown and I really think it's a nice neutral tone to have in your handbags and just to wear in general. So let me undo the wrapping. Tissue paper in here. Wow, you know what? The, that tiny Prada bag, I was really worried. I was like, oh my god, did my mum buy me the wrong bag? Like, what's going on? But the bag is so small that it can genuinely fit inside that small box. So, as you guys know, these bags come in a variety of colours. I was contemplating um, the green one because I saw the green one on Tamara and I love Tamara so much. Um, I was contemplating the white one because I thought white would look really nice in the summer but then I thought mm, Alicia you're black and your makeup is going to go all over the, your white handbag so that's probably not a wise decision. So yeah I ended up going for the brown and actually I have to say that I was inspired to choose this colour by a woman on YouTube called Kat L. I think that's her name. Um, she's such a cool lady and she makes all these videos about handbags um, so I found her review on YouTube really really helpful and I really loved the colour of her Prada Cahir and I was like okay if I'm gonna purchase a Cahir I want that neutral colour so she was my inspiration so let me do a quick side by side you can see straight away how tiny this Cahir bag is Look how small this is in comparison to the Pochette Matisse. That's why I was so confused. I was like, my mum bought me the wrong bag because there's no way like a normal size handbag could fit into that tiny Prada box. But now that I have it side by side, now I realised how tiny the Cahir is. And the thing is, the price point on this is quite hefty. You know, you're paying over £2,000 for this bag. And it's so tiny, but anyway, it's worth it because it's very edgy, it's very, I don't know, I just, I just think it's very now, it's very cool. I love the fact that the corners are protected by this gold hardware, um, yeah, this is, oh, it's just beautiful, I'm just, I'm so happy with both of my purchases, well I'm happy with everything, I'm happy with my books, I'm happy with my card holder, I'm happy with my bandeau, and my two brand new babies, oh my god I'm just so happy right now, I feel so elated, who knew handbags could bring you so much joy, anyway I'm gonna leave it there for today, if you guys would like any styling videos or what's in my bag videos or anything just leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching my what I got for Christmas video 2018 it's been one of the best years of my life no exaggeration it's been such a good year and yeah I just hope you've had a wonderful day with your family and friends please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, please subscribe to my channel because I will be doing loads more videos in the new year and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I can assure you I will be styling these handbags to death on Instagram so I shall see you in my next video Merry Christmas <laughs>